The Singapore Democratic Party team for Holland Bukatima GRC told the media what they thought of Minister for National Development Ma Bao Tan announcing the possibility that the income ceiling for HDB applicants be raised from $8,000 to $10,000. He could have done it last year. He could have done it in any of the last five years. He's been at the head of that ministry for a long time. It's a party political ploy. Nothing further. We've been recommending raising the ceiling. The Workers' Party has been recommending it. And they were shouted down when they started saying, uh, giving these options. Right? Gerald Giam has been mentioning the idea about uh, that, that sort of similar ideas for a long time now. Now, if you introduce that two days before election day, I think the public is entitled to decide that that is a cynical political you don't move. Think they will impact I have no idea. I can't. Uh, you know, um, I don't think anyone can uh, uh, estimate that until then. Well, in general, yes, people have seen through the cynicism and people are fed up of you know these party political ploys. People welcome the eight hundred dollars, but they don't see it as government largesse. They see it as, you know, a party political move. They will spend it because they need to spend it. People are working for $500 a month in Singapore. Um, so they will welcome it, but they will not be grateful. You know, there's a limit to gratitude. You see, it's again another desperate attempt to win votes. To win votes. And I, I think it, it shows all these years there is lack of depth in their policy planning. Lack of depth and so much complacency, which I cannot stand. I think... Overdominance by a party, 82 versus 2, is leading to our sorry state of affairs and resulting in the PM having to say sorry. I think we need more opposition in, and that's why I'm in this wave. I'm in this wave. I'm very excited about it. We get very good ground feedback. People are very angry. And I want to say one thing they keep saying, Where's your five year plan? They keep saying upgrading, they keep saying grow and share. People are fed up of all these things. People want to see the connection with the government. People want to see the feeling of the government listening to them, listening to their feedback. If this is not done, I'm afraid a lot of seats will be lost. Yeah, the, the raising of the income ceiling from $8,000 to $10,000 is a knee-jerk reaction, a knee-jerk reaction from the government at this time, at this election time. So one can be very cynical about it. It lacks depth. It lacks depth. It shows how how uh, shallow forward planning has been about I think the real solution to the housing problem is not this raising of income ceiling but a change a change of the pricing policy the pricing formula from one based on market price which has been pushed upwards by foreigners by PRs who bought it, it is very obvious that in our house visits here in Bukim Panjang a lot of the flats have PRs staying in them and these are the people who have pushed up the prices so the raising of income ceiling will, will actually make these higher prices more permanent. Why are you saying that PR shouldn't be a luxury? Well, I think we have to, we have to, we cannot allow them to have the, on the same terms. Okay, I think basically we need to expand the 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 housing supply, and we need to have a review of the pricing policy to make it reflective of cost, cost plus, rather than market price. Market price has been pushed up even by land price. Land price, beat, uh, the, it was bid upwards by the casinos as well, right? So all over, land prices have been bid up by casino operators, by the property developers, by hoteliers and all that. Why should the people pay for all these things? Uh, these are international bids for greed. Casino is for greed. Why should the people of Singapore suffer as a result of this greed? Well, um, it's not that. I think it's, more com it's, it's not as simple as that. I think PRs also need a roof over their head. But um, I think we have to look at our pricing formula. So what suggestions does Mr. Tan have to ease the housing problem? I have uh, mentioned about housing prices in my economic report only as part of the cost of living issue, how to improve standards of living of the people. But I will in the next, I will include housing policy and transport policy in my next chapter of my report. Well, I think housing, uh, housing, the problem is, uh, is it requires a more complete, uh, complete review. I think we should also, because it is the young people we are talking about, I think a roof over the head is more important to them then ownership in the longer home ownership should be a long run thing but the immediate problem is expensive 
But the immediate problem is to have a roof over their head. Maybe for young couples, young people, we should have more rental housing. This will bring up because they can't afford. They earn. How do you expect someone earning two, three thousand dollars to afford a half a million dollar house? Right. I think we should solve the housing problem for the young in two stages: rental housing, rental housing for them, small one, three room flat, so that they can have one for their own and for the children together with the maid, two bedrooms. All right, plus a living room. We should. The the problem, the problem with the housing problem. Uh, situation is that everybody wants to rush for the bigger flats. I think we should not. They think that they should go in right now for the bigger flats. I th- yeah. Should rent, but wouldn't rental go against the home ownership program? No. Uh, well, I think it's a question of a, a problem, a short-term problem of shortage of a roof over the head. I think it is more important to have a roof over the head if you want to encourage people to get married and to have children. I think it is very difficult to have children and when you to stay with your own parents. There is just not enough privacy, not enough space. In a, even in a five-room flat, there isn't enough space. You have, you have to compete for space with your siblings. Uh, and there is no privacy at all. I mean, young couple, they want privacy. They don't want to have movements restricted. So we should give them a roof over the head, maybe a smaller flat. Then it will not go against the housing problem because we can, we can make use of their rental payment to contribute towards the deposit for their housing when they go when they buy for their ownership housing. That is what I have in mind. But that will, you have to wait for my paper.